Hello everyone. In this video, we will try to solve the problem which says, what is the radius of curvature of the parabola traced out by the projectile in the previous problem at a point where the particle velocity makes an angle theta by 2 with the horizontal. So in the previous problem, I gave you a formula which says, radius of curvature is nothing but velocity square upon a perpendicular. In the previous problem, the a perpendicular was quite very easy because at that time it was only g with velocity vx, right? But in this situation, the problem is bit difficult. Why? Because this is initial velocity u, which was at an angle theta. And let's say at this particular point, the velocity is making an angle theta by 2 with the horizontal, right? At this particular instance, v should be equal to vx square plus vy square. And we know that vx is always equal to u cos theta. And vy is equal to u sin theta minus gt, right? Now, t is unknown to us. So we have to eliminate this t. To get that, let's say this velocity is equal to under the root vx square is that means u square cos square theta plus vy square is u sin theta minus gt whole square also we know that at this particular point let's say this is a point a and from projectile we also know that tan theta by 2 is equal to vy upon vx now the vy is u sin theta minus gt upon vx is u cos theta. So that means it will become tan theta by 2 is equal to tan theta minus gt upon u cos theta. Now I will try to get the value of gt from here. So that will become u cos theta into tan theta by 2 is equal to u cos theta into tan theta minus gt. Now if I convert this tan theta into sin theta upon cos theta, so the gt overall will become u sin theta. So from this one, tan theta is sin theta upon cos theta so cos theta will cancel out so it will become u sin theta minus u cos theta into tan theta by 2. Now if we put the value of gt from here into this equation so what we will get v is equal to under root u square cos square theta plus u sin theta minus gt value is u sin theta minus minus plus u cos theta into tan theta by 2 whole square. So u sin theta will cancel out. So the entire equation will become v is equal to under root u square cos square theta plus u square cos square theta into tan square theta by 2. So now we have eliminated gt value. So this v we have received. Now we have to calculate a perpendicular. So in this case, the gravity is acting downward direction. So we have to calculate the acceleration due to gravity component which is perpendicular to this velocity. So that means if this is theta and this is theta by 2, so this angle will also be theta by 2. So here it is going to be g cos theta by 2, which is perpendicular to this velocity v. Now we have received a perpendicular as g cos theta by 2, right? So rc is nothing but v square upon a perpendicular, so velocity square that means it is going to be u square cos square theta so i am taking u square cos square theta common here so this will become 1 plus tan square theta by 2 upon g cos theta by 2 now i am just converting this tan square theta by 2 
to sine square theta by 2 upon cos square theta by 2 and taking LCM so this will become u square cos square theta into cos square theta by 2 plus sine square theta by 2 upon g cos theta by 2 into cos square theta by 2. So this cos square theta by 2 plus sine square theta by 2 will become 1. So RC will be u square cos square theta upon g cos cube theta by 2. So this is the solution of this problem.